Okay, so today I wanted to share a bit about my workflow and how I was able to sell some kind of AI pipeline uh, for almost uh, $6,000 to like a marketing company that wanted some specific pipeline to create some content. And I wanted to just go through today and show you kind of how I did that and how you can too. So uh, let's start by showing you an example of what I mean by an AI pipeline here. So if we run my Python main here, you can see this is just an AI video generator pipeline. Uh, we can zoom in a bit. So we can enter your video ID. So we can start with that. It can be basically anything and it can be stuff that is, uh, yeah, uh, in the news at the moment. So we can do something like explain the drone attack on Russia by Ukraine on June 1st, right? So what's going to happen now is that we're going to research a topic. So we have some kind of setup here in the background that goes on uh, search engines and find all the information. We're going to next write a script. We're going to generate a video, audio, music, everything. So uh, I'm just going to show you kind of the output here. Uh, so I'm just going to fast forward this. And you can see now we have generated the voiceover. We have generated kind of the script. We are starting to generate some images, video. So I'm just going to show you the final results now, and then we're going to do this uh, AI pipeline workflow together. Okay, so we have the final result here. So I'm just going to play this now. And yeah, so you just I'm just going to play a few seconds of this so you kind of get the idea here. On June 1st, 2025, Ukraine launched a daring drone attack deep inside Russia called Operation Spider's Web. After nearly two years of planning, faded 117 drones struck and damaged or destroyed 41 Russian aircraft including bombers worth billions. This marked a turning point in modern warfare, showing how innovation and strategy can upend expectations and reshape the battlefield right before crucial peace talks. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty interesting because the only thing we had to do, right, was just to put in our ID and this came out on the other side. So yeah, today, like I said, I just wanted to walk you through how you can do this workflow, other workflows similar to this, and set up a nice AI pipeline. And if you're lucky, maybe you find a customer that is interested in your uh, pipeline. So yeah, let's just get into it and show you kind of how you can set this up. So what I thought we can do is uh, a bit of a simpler version than what we just uh, looked at. So I want to use cloud code for this. This kind of saves you a lot of time, but uh, you could, of course, uh, Try to set up manually, maybe you want to write some code yourself, maybe you want to use ChatGPT, but I prefer Cloud Code or any other AI agent, you can use Cursor too, because it just saves you a lot of time uh, if you do some good prep work, that is going to be the first thing we want to do. So, uh, since we're going to create this kind of uh, image to video, uh, to music, some kind of simple pipeline to just show you how this works, uh, I thought we can just start by gathering some documentation here. So this is something I always do. So I have a docs folder here. And the first thing we're gonna gather is um, some information. So I'm gonna do file AI video dot markdown. I also want something called file AI image, right? Because we need some images for our uh, video generation. Okay, and I think I want some music. So I use something called sonato dot markdown. That is an API. Uh, I have my keys now set in this markdown file here, uh, but hmm, maybe you shouldn't do that, but that's something I just I do. Uh, so let's go gather some documentation. So if you go to file AI, uh, I wanna select uh, the video model called Kling Video uh, Standard 2.1 Image to Video. So since we're using image to video, we need an image generator too. Uh, and I can just go to the API here to gather my context. And yeah, I think we just want to select Python, right? And all the context we need uh, from the documentation is just this. So I'm just going to grab this documentation here uh, like this, copy this. And uh, let's just paste it in here. So file AI video, that's all we need for that. Uh, we also want images. So uh, I want to find some kind of image model. And I think I'm going to go with so text to image. I'm going to pick uh, Google's Imagen 4. Again, do the same. API. Just grab the documentation here. And Cloud Code will figure out how we can put this together. So I'm just going to copy this. 
file AI image, paste it in. Okay, so that is a good start. Now we kind of have the, what we need, the documentation for the image and the video. I also want some documentation for the background music we want to create. So I'm just going to go to Son Auto, uh, developers API. This is not a sponsor thing. This is just something I use. Click on documentation and I'm just going to do the same here. I'm just going to grab the API documentation. Okay, that was done. Paste it in and that's it. I think that's all we need now. We might need some open eye. So let me do, uh, this could be any model, but let's just do open AI dot markdown because we might have to uh, write some prompts using AI. So let's also go to developers, quick start, copy this page from open AI. Make sure we have Python and just paste it in here. Okay, so now we are, I think we are ready to start on cloud code now. Uh, yeah, I think we have all the documentation we need. Let's get started. So in Cloud Code, I usually just start with uh, read the files in uh, docs just to get the uh, cloud up to information it has. So um, hopefully it's not going to show my keys now, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to revoke them anyway. And after that, we're going to explain on a high level what we want to do. And we're going to get Cloud Code to create a step-by-step -step plan. And it's going to execute this plan to create our... Um, yeah, uh, AI pipeline here. So yeah, contains the API keys, and now we kind of has information about the, all the documentation we need. So uh, I'm gonna do a long prompt now. Uh, I'm gonna explain on a high level uh, what our pipeline is gonna be. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna record it. So here I like to use uh, just speech to text, just to save me some typing time. Okay, so the project we're gonna do today is a uh, AI video pipeline. So how this is gonna work is that the user is gonna input a video ID it wants, and your job is to, and our project is gonna be to turn that ID into a video that has some kind of fitting background music. So the way we're gonna do this is that when the user puts in the video ID, uh, we're going to use the OpenAI API to write uh, scenes that fits this ID. So if we're going to do uh, 30 seconds, that means that we need three scenes. That is going to be 10 seconds each. Uh, ish. And these three scenes is going to be the video. So that means that every video is going to be 30 seconds. And when we create these scenes, the first thing we need to do is use the Google Image and 4 image to generate like an input image for the Kling 2.1 video generator. So for scene one, we're gonna use image one and put that into the Kling model uh, along with a prompt that describes the scene and we're gonna get a clip out. That's gonna be clip one, scene one, right? And when we have all the three clips, we're gonna use FFmpeg to merge these three clips together uh, in the correct order. And finally, we need to use Sonato to create a fitting background music for this clip and merge everything together and save it as final output or something like that, .mp4. Now you can create a plan how we can do this, a step-by-step -step plan. Okay, so that was a long prompt. Maybe I cut a bit out, uh, but let's try it out now and see, you can see this was a very long prompt. So let's see if Claude Code now can come up with a step-by-step -step plan, how we can actually execute this. So you can see it sets uh, this, um, yeah, you can see it here. Uh, so we have a nice plan here, and then hopefully we can execute this. So the plan is gonna be a follows, scene generation, and we're gonna do image generation, video generation, assembly, music generation, and final assembly. Yeah, that is perfect. So. Uh, yeah, ready to start implementing. Yes, uh, let's start, but I want this to be modular because I like this to be modular so we can edit and uh, debug each module, right? So let's see if we can do that. Modular structure approach. I like that. So now Claude is just gonna get started working. I guess in the beginning we have to accept some of these, right? So we're just gonna put up every requirements. So I'm just gonna, don't ask again. 
Okay, just an update. You can see now we are on the part here where we are gonna create our FFmpeg video merging functionality. We're gonna do some background music. Uh, and the pipeline and then we are almost done. I think we spent about three four minutes so far And you can see now kind of how modular this is. We have services. Here is the image service video service FFM OpenAI. We have a pipeline.py now we are generating our main.py that is gonna import probably our pipeline.py uh, right? Yeah, that looks good uh, We have some async stuff here, too. So I'm interested to see how we end up with this uh, what I think is nice about doing this modular is that it's easy to go in and see what actually happens. And this is something I really recommend. Okay, so that was done. So I think I would say it took about uh, almost five minutes. That wasn't too bad. So ready to use. So we're going to run our pip install here. And then we can do uh, Python main and then our video ID. We can choose to do with no music. We can also have some logging. So it looks pretty interesting and I'm kind of ready to test this. So I'm just going to install the dependencies now. So let's just do that. Okay. Let's clear this up. And now you can see we can do Python main and then our video ID. We don't need verbose now. Or maybe the first time we should do some verbose logging. Because if we have some errors, that's pretty smart. So let's do uh, Python main.py brutalist city 1980s drone shot verbose. Okay. So when we run this now, you can see uh, we have some errors here. So I'm going to take a look at this. So I'm just going to grab the log, go back here and resolve this. Let's try that. Some vibe coding here. Uh, I think. Yeah. GPT 4. Let's use the GPT 4.1 model for OpenAI services. I want to update that. Okay, so we are changing to 4.1. Okay, so we can try again. Okay, so let's run this now. So uh, I changed up the prompt a bit. So it's going to be Python Menopi, artistic, brutalist, concrete city. No windows, drone shot, uh, and do the verbose. So hopefully this works now. You can see uh, generating scene descriptions. That looks pretty good. Uh, the next part is going to be to generate the images, video, and music. Okay, image step, that looks pretty good. So let's just wait for the first image here to see that it looks uh, fine. Uh, if you don't like it, we can just start over again, I guess. Yeah, I kind of like that. That looks fine. Doesn't matter too much. Let's check out scene two. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's go with this, and hopefully this will work now. So next step is going to be the videos and then we're going to do the, um, yeah, you can see the video is starting now. Perfect. And the music and put everything together. So I'll take you back when we have uh, the final video, hopefully. Okay. So you can see we are done with the clips. Now we're just going to generate the background music and then hopefully the merging works and we get everything into one uh, final uh, file here. Okay, so we have the final output. Perfect. This is looking good. So let's just play this and see how it is looks. So I'm just going to mute my mic and let's listen. Okay, that wasn't bad for a first attempt, right? Yeah, I kind of like it. I think this is pretty cool. So I want to do one last update to our pipeline here. So what I want to do is um, I want to be able to pick between 916 and 169. So let me update that and ask for that. So let's just do, let's implement an option to pick between uh, 169 and 916, read the documentation and fix this. So I think this is going to be the final thing we update because this worked out pretty smooth and we're going to do one more test testing out the 916 format. This is like for vertical video to see how that worked too. So I'm just going to let this run and let's test our new implementation here. Okay, so now we can add the aspect ratio uh, instruction at the end here. So let's do that. So I'm going to go Python Pi POV of exploring the Amazon jungle, ultra realistic, aspect ratio 916. 
So this is gonna be our final test and it seems to be working. So now we're gonna do the vertical video. So I'm just gonna let this run and let's see what we end up with here. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna do the music and hopefully this is good to go. So assembling the video, do we get a final output? Yeah, we got it. So let's check it out here. I'm just gonna mute myself. Maybe not the most engaging, but it was pretty good and it worked pretty smoothly if you ask me. So we got kind of the first scene, POV, POV and a final POV. We even got the hands here I think in the beginning, yeah that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this and hopefully you could, you picked up something you can learn here. And even though it's not may maybe so easy to get a customer that will buy this from you, you can create all kinds of cool stuff using this different pipeline. And this is kind of what I love about uh, AI coding. This is kind of my thing, putting weird different services together into one cool thing. And this is kind of what I like to do. So yeah, hopefully you are kind of into this too. Start creating these crazy pipelines because this is, I'm telling you, just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do. You can do some crazy shit with all of these different uh, uh, pipelines you can build using AI tools. So definitely recommend diving more into this. And I hope this video gave you some inspiration of what you can do. And we're probably going to do more in the future, to be honest. Uh, I really enjoy it. So yeah, hope you like it. And I'll see you again very soon. Don't forget to check out the link in the description if you are thinking about going to Paris for the GTC. And yeah. See you again very soon.